Good morning, everyone. Beautiful day down here in the dikes. Just want to give a quick reference to an article I posted on Facebook. So those of you that follow me on Facebook can read it there. It was a, a Globe and Mail article titled along the lines of what cancer patients can teach us about living with the coronas, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, really well done. It really hit home for it. I know Lori and I both, and those of you that know her story, um, know a little bit of what I'm talking about. And he's really making the analogy between dealing with some of the things we're going through with the state of emergency, like helplessness, loneliness, uh, a bit of a sense of doom, um, hopelessness some, and how to reflect on your lives and boil things down to what really is important and what truly is real for you. I know I've done that lately for the last number of months since this cancer thing came back, slapped us in the face again, um, and simplifying my life. And, and I think we all need to do a bit of that. If you haven't yet, it might be time to start thinking about that as we work our way out of this on the other end, whenever that is, uh, what's important and what isn't important and what to keep in your life, what to throw away in your life or what to just quietly walk away from in your life. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Everything needs to be done respectfully, of course. But uh, what is important for you? And our world's going to be different. We'll go back to some type of normalcy, but it'll be different than what it was before. I, I believe that. So what will yours be? You get time to think on it. So do that. Take care, folks. See you soon.